Hello, girls! It's another monthly grocery shopping day, and I am so excited, more excited than normal, to share this grocery shopping experience with you. Number one, the main reason is being Hubby and I are on a pretty strict, pretty serious diet. We've been going at it for about 10 days now, so I'm feeling pumped. Actually, I'm feeling like I want a piece of chocolate cake, so you got one. One of the main questions I always am getting is how to eat healthy on a budget. I've made my grocery list, I have adjusted the budget a little bit, and I think we're gonna be able to make it work. What I do in these monthly grocery hauls is I go to the grocery store and buy every single food item and also miscellaneous household items that we are gonna need for our family of five for an entire month, as long as it can stand the shelf or be frozen or stay in the fridge for the full 30 days. So there is an exception where I do a weekly grocery haul with a $25 budget each week for fresh produce and milk. So do you think I can stick to the same budget that we've been doing for the past few months and going super healthy on ya? You're gonna wanna stick around to find out. First off, I want to thank Ibotta so much for sponsoring this video. If you watched any of my previous grocery hauls, you guys know what a huge fan I am of Ibotta. Ibotta is a app that you can use on your phone or mobile device. And I've been already using them for years. I am thrilled to be working with them today. So just to make sure we're all on the same page, Ibotta is an app that you can use to get cash back on your everyday purchases. I use them every single time I go to the grocery store. I use it religiously when it comes to my meal planning. We have a monthly budget of $300 for our big giant grocery haul, which is nothing. That is a pretty small budget for our family of five. Finding ways to cut costs any way I can is essential. And if I can find some way to cut costs that's super easy, then you better believe I'm doing it, which is why I have been using Ibotta for so long. I have a list of like five or eight things on today's grocery list that I'm planning on getting a rebate for with Ibotta, which is awesome. They have new rebates weekly, which is why you are going to always want to be taking a look. The way I use Ibotta is when it comes time for me to do my meal planning, First, I check my fridge, freezer, and pantry, as always. Then what I'll do is I'll plan out my meals for the month, and then just based off of my normal grocery list, then I'll look through Ibotta, browse the different stores that I'm planning on shopping at that day, and look to see if there's any rebates on products that I'm already planning on buying. And then, if there happens to be something enticing or something that I've been wanting to try and there is a rebate for that, I'll add that to my grocery list. And remember, Ibotta is not just for groceries, they also have mobile shopping offers as well. If you're interested in trying out Ibotta, I will leave a link in the description box for you so you can go check it out. Now, as I'm going through Ibotta and sharing different deals that I'm finding and showing you guys all my grocery haul, just keep in mind that the different offers vary per region. And they wanted me just to remind you guys that all of the offers that I'm talking about today are valid as of today and they change weekly. And again, they vary depending on where you live. So don't forget to check your app for details as offers change frequently. And they may not be available in all areas. All right, are you guys ready to go grocery shopping? Guess what? Kids are back in school, so it's just Mav and I today, so it should be a very leisurely, relaxing grocery haul. trifecta let me explain so on my list I have a few things that we needed body wash for me body wash for Tommy um, shampoo for the kids well guess what they all happened to be on a gift card rebate at Target and then also I can get another rebate stacked on top of that through Ibotta all I have to do is buy four of the participating products. So I'm probably gonna buy two of the body wash for Tommy, one body wash for me, one of the shampoos for the kids. That makes a total of four. When I buy four, I get a $5 Target gift card as a rebate. Then also, there are rebates within Ibotta for each of those items. If I had a coupon to stack on top of that, like a printable coupon, that would be amazing, but 
just didn't line up that way today, but I'm still happy about it. Another item we're getting and I bought a rebate on, plus they're on sale two for seven, and they're gonna be great for our whole 30 meal plan. Yes, don't you guys just love it when like everything on your list is on sale? Thank you. This is not on my list, but it's good to know that they have this here at Target, $3.99, which was cheaper than I saw at Sprout, so good to know. What? Clearance. Thank you. I see you. I mentioned this before, but one of the reasons why I love using a rebate app like I bought us so much is because it helps you be able to try new products because I hate being full price for anything, but specifically when we're trying new things. So I needed to get some granola bars for the kids. So the kids Z bars and then also the kids Lara bars each get a dollar rebate from Ibotta and bingo, they are also on sale. So we're gonna give these a try and then we're also gonna give the Z bars a try as well. Things like this are also gonna be really good for packing up lunches. So make sure you're checking the rebate for all sorts of different rebates on stuff that's great for filling lunches. Another tip for when you're looking for products that are on a rebate, you're gonna obviously wanna try to get the lowest price per unit, um, but again, it's also a great opportunity to try some new things. So, if you look at the rebate for this wet ones, you have to buy two of them. It says that you can do it on either canisters or singles. So there's also this option down here where you can um, use the barcode to barcode scanner to make sure that it's the right, the right product. I'm gonna go for one of these guys to keep on hand and then I'm also gonna give these singles a try because I think these would also be great just to kind of throw in the kids backpacks or in their lunches for when they're done eating. So this is what we used to buy, but on our new diet, we're gonna give this a try. So it's more expensive, for $5 a pound. This is $3.69 a pound. Okay, we're making adjustments here, people. Another one of the things that I love about I Bought It is that it's really one of the few rebate apps that offer rebates on fresh produce. So, there's a rebate on Indy apples and a rebate on Jazz apples for a pound each. So I'm gonna get one pound of each so I can take advantage of the two different rebates. Bummer, way cheaper here. Now I know where to look for a sale on grass-fed ground beef. Excuse me, show me, your, show me your apple again. It's also pretty awesome that Ibotta also offers rebates on fresh cuts of meat a lot of times. So today they have a rebate for top tenderloin steak, so that's on my list. Woo, okay. Oh goodness, I'm like, okay. Whew. Today's schedule was off from our normal grocery haul. I went to four different stores. Let me start with the extra store, because normally I do two or three. Let's just dive into this grocery haul because there's a lot for you guys to take a look at. And let me explain my reasoning to the fourth store. Fourth store being Food for Less, which is a Kroger brand. What I needed to get there were some spices. Now have you guys ever seen like the Mexican spice aisle? You can find spices um, in these little bags and they're only a dollar. So it's great, especially if you don't need a ton. Like if there's one recipe that you make every once a month and it only uses one teaspoon, these are perfect for it. Now I made the extra haul because I needed four different types of seasoning. Ground coriander, ground cumin, chili powder, and then I actually needed some turmeric, but I had to buy a container like this, which was about $4. But these, these two were a dollar, and then this one was $2 because it's a giant, huge bag of ground coriander. Not sure, but it was still cheaper than buying the canister. Anyways, if I would have bought these at one of the other stores that I was already shopping at, Easily, each one of these spices would have been three to four times the cost. So I saved about $15 by buying them this way, which in my opinion is totally worth the extra store, especially since it was just down the street. So those are the spices I got at Food for Less. And then the kids also wanted um, some instant oatmeal. Let's just make it clear that with this diet that Hubby and I are doing, only hubby and I are doing it and we're slowly weaning the kids into the same process. So most of this is going to be diet compliant. Some of it 
not so much. So each one of these was $1.50 and there are 10 packets in each one of those. And they'll also be great because we have another road trip coming up. Whew, okay. Next door, let's head on over to Costco. So I bought some cooked tail off shrimp. This is a two pound bag and it was just around $15. We got some of these Belvita breakfast biscuits for the kids. There's 30 packs and in, within each pack there's four biscuits. This was around $12. We got this package again for the kids. Um, I see that we're not starting off healthy, but we'll get to the healthy stuff, promise. Let's get the kids stuff out of the way. So there's 42 pouches in here. Usually these kids don't love these ones, but they eat most of it. Anyways, they love this. Really great for back to school lunches. And this was just around $10 for this big box. Then I got some chicken broth, which we're going to be needing for a lot of our recipes. Holy organic guacamole. These things are amazing. They're totally compliant with the diet that we're doing. And you can freeze them and they defrost amazingly well so this is something that's really great for a um, monthly grocery haul you guys can see that the ingredients there's avocado water um, dehydrated onion vinegar salt and granulated garlic that's all that's in here guys it's so good um, this big giant thing of 20 cups is around $15 definitely more of a splurge but delicious for the kids this big box of 54 um, chips, bags of chips, was on sale and was just around $10 for that. We also got a thing of the baked goldfish crackers. There's 45 packages. This was on sale, making them exactly the same price per ounce as the big giant canister. So I went with the convenience factor since they are both the same price. Again, just around $10 for that box. Then I got five dozen eggs. Um, we are trying to buy organic when possible. But the organic eggs were three times the cost of these. So I just went with the normal eggs this time. There's five dozen and this was just around $7. We got the Tyson fully cooked pinko chicken nuggets for the kids. That was around $13. Or no, this was on sale this month for $10. Then um, we got the organic riced cauliflower. Um, we can get four meals out of this big bag and it was $7. Two of the small packages of cheese and they're one and a half ounce the one and a half pounds per bag and that cheese was just around eight dollars i got this big bag of almonds which i wasn't planning on doing i was planning on buying them in bulk from sprouts but i priced it out it was priced per ounce so i priced it out per pound and this was three dollars cheaper per pound than if i were to go buy it in bulk at sprouts so this was a really great deal i think it worked out to be around four dollars per pound for these almonds and this is a three three pound bag these are just it says steam pasteurized so they're not roasted in anything. It's just ingredients are just almonds. Another diet compliant food that I bought was were these chicken and apple sausages. If you look at the ingredients, they're super clean. Chicken, dried apple, salt, fruit juice concentrate, spices, celery powder, and a pork casing. So there's no sugar in here, and I've heard great things about them. We're gonna use these for dinners and then also in some breakfast recipes. One of the organic items that I was already told you guys about and showed you everything, this is what we went with. It was $20 and there's four pounds, but each one is a pound, 1.34 pounds. So that'll be good for all of our recipes that we need. And I think that's everything we got from Costco. The next store I'm gonna show you is we went to Target. Got tons of awesome Ibotta rebates on here. So I already showed you guys these veggie noodles and there's a rebate. I'm actually gonna freeze these and then they'll be perfect for making a spaghetti night. Hubby and I will eat the sauce over these and the kids will eat sauce over just regular pasta noodles. We're not buying as much milk because that is not on the diet for Hubby and I. So we only do one gallon of milk a week instead of three gallons of milk a week. So that's just for the kids. That was about 250. Then yogurt for the kids. Kids like to eat yogurt and granola for breakfast sometimes. These are just the Market Pantry low fat yogurt. It's a 32 ounce canister for each of these. They are 250 each. We are gonna do a lot of bagels and cream cheese, which you'll see in a second. So we got the Market Pantry light cream cheese, eight ounce canister. This was about $2. Then I bought four things of bagels, thinking that one per week should keep us covered um, between lunches and breakfast. Again, our kids are little, so we can get by with less 
for now. These were $3 each. I plan on keeping one out and then freezing the rest, pulling them out of the freezer as we need them. I wasn't paying attention. This has a rebate, but it was not part of the buy four, get a $5 gift card. So I ended up just getting one of these, one of these, so I can get so I can get the rebate on those. And I did buy four of these and got a $5 Target gift card back. So I did this as a separate transaction and then used the $5 gift card to go towards um, my grocery bill. I already showed you the price and the I bought a rebate that I got with these two guys. I needed a can of coconut milk and it happened to be on clearance so that saved me a few pennies. Then a can of diced tomatoes, um, which was a dollar. A can of tomato paste, which was 50 cents. A can of tomato sauce, which was 50 cents. All of which, no sugars added. Then this Las Palmas enchilada sauce. Read the ingredients on this one. Again, really clean. It's just chili peppers, salt, vinegar, oil, and garlic powder, and spice. So that's good to go. We got, we went with the chocolate mint brownie. Uh-oh, I didn't realize it was mint. The boys will only be the ones that like those. <laughs> oh well, the boys will like those, and then maybe Kennedy will like this one. Um, the peanut butter chocolate, and we got, I bought a rebate on both of those. So that's everything we got from Target. Now the biggest haul, really, is going to be from Sprouts. I was able to buy a ton of fresh stuff. I didn't need a ton of fresh veggies or fresh fruit because I've already done that grocery haul for this week using the budget from last month. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to see if I can stick to my $25 weekly bu budget for fresh produce. I'm a little bit nervous about it. I'm going to have to shop those sales real good and make adjustments as they come along to make sure that I'm taking advantage of those sales because $25 and we are eating probably three to four times as much fruits and veggies as we were before, but I'm sticking to the budget. We'll see. So at Sprouts, I got this package of clementines. And um, this was on sale for about two bucks. I got some cashews. This bag, it's about two cups of cashews and it cost me around $2. I got some granola for the kids. This was about two bucks. Got a little thing of garlic, which is like a quarter. We got some bananas. Those were 49 cents a pound. I showed you the two different types of apples that I got. I also really like to get these dried apple rings. We're going on a road trip like I mentioned and I will love these with some roasted almonds. That's a great snack. One of our weeks for lunches, we are doing like a lettuce wrap sandwich type thingy. Anyways, I had to read a lot of labels to finally find some lunch meat that doesn't have any um, chemicals or sugars in it. And this is the winner. It's the Applegate Herb Turkey Breast. Um, it was the only one. So pay attention if you're looking at this brand. Lots of them have sugar in them. And then I was happy to see that at Sprouts they had tons and tons of options for bacon that is all natural, no sugar added, um, just pretty much seasoned. So we got three of these and they were on sale for about $5 each. I got an avocado, they weren't on sale. It was $2 for the avocado, so I just went with one this time. We got some peppers, I'm gonna use these for um, just kinda like dipping in those um, guacamole cups. I thought they would be good if we sliced them and dipped them in guacamole. Um, these were on sale for $1.98. Grapes were on sale for 98 cents, 97 cents per pound. So I got two of them. We'll eat fresh ones and then we freeze them and they're so good frozen. A big giant five pound bag of um, russet potatoes. That was $2. And this is where I bought a bunch of my meat. Now you might be thinking, why didn't you buy your meat at Costco? If I don't need a giant, ginormous amount of meat, then I'll just buy it somewhere else unless I have the budget to stock up and save for a different month. So all of this meat is going to go straight into the freezer and then I'll pull it out as I need it throughout the month. So I got three different packages of ground pork and that was $4.99 per pound. Not great. And the ribs were actually on sale for $2.47 a pound so that was awesome. I needed some stew meat and that was $6.99 per pound. Um, so it worked out just around $10 for those two containers. I needed a pork roast. Now I've never done this big giant bone-in pork roast. But it was on sale for 99 cents per pound and I thought, okay, 
Maybe I'll just like roast this or slow cook it or something with some seasoning. Um, eat what we need and then freeze the rest for a different day for a different recipe. So that's pretty awesome. This big giant thing, which is bigger than my head, it's 10 pounds, was only $10, which, so that's pretty cool. And then the last thing that we needed were these um, beef top sirloin steaks. And those were $7.99 per pound, but don't forget, I used an Ibotta rebate on those as well. Whew. Okay, there it is. That is the entire month's worth of grocery hauls. Let me add up the numbers and I'll be right back. All right, so I've totaled it out. Remember, it, I've changed our monthly budget for the time being. If you're interested in see how we break down our grocery shopping budget, I will leave a link to that video in the description box. So this month, our food budget is 360 and then our miscellaneous is 100. So our miscellaneous today, I spent, oh, I don't think I mentioned it, but I had to get the boys some flip flops. Those over there, they're about $4 each. Okay, so our miscellaneous um, budget, oh, and there's dog food. I bought a big giant bag of dog food that's still in the car. I was too tired to bring it in at the moment. That was $25. Okay, now the total for the miscellaneous spending was $67.53, so we still have a little bit of room um for anything that i might have forgot but hopefully we can hold off till next month and then just roll that cash over and then out of 360 for today for food i spent 344.86 which i was totally excited about because as i was calculating my estimated spending when i was making my grocery list because always put down exactly how much you think every single item will cost i was going to be like 40 dollars over so coming in about $15 under is awesome. Wait, 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 I forgot to mention. Do you guys wanna know how much I actually saved with Ibotta this time? I saved, or I'm gonna get $9.25 back this month. Just for this one shopping trip, I'm getting not over $9 back just from using the app. So that actually brings me about almost $25 below my estimated budget for this month. So that is great. It's totally worth taking a look at Ibotta every single time you go grocery shopping. It's easy. So I hope you guys got some good ideas, maybe took away some um, tips on how to help save you guys some money on your grocery shopping. Because grocery shopping is one of the biggest spenders for most families. What are some of your favorite things that you buy for your family every single month? Let's chat about it down in the comments below. Also, I wanna know, have you guys tried out Ibotta? Are you excited to try it out? What do you guys think? Let's talk about that in the comments also. Thanks again to Ibotta for sponsoring this video. It's a pleasure and such a treat to work with brands that I have been using for our family to help our family stick within budget for years and years and years and finally get to work with them. It's pretty awesome and I'm really excited about it. Don't forget if you wanna download the app, there's a link in the description box for you guys to go on and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.